The Lagos State government says it has grown its internal generated revenue from 600 million monthly in 1999 to over 45 billion naira monthly as of today. Governor Babadide Sonolu stated this on Monday. This was in his keynote address at the opening ceremony of the 149th meeting of the Joint Tax Board in Victoria Island, Lagos. He was represented by the Commissioner for Finance, Rabli Olo. Plus TV Lagos State correspondent Love Ikuku Oyedokun was there and filed this report. It's the 149th meeting of the Joint Tax Board, thus APS body for tax authorities in Nigeria. Governor Babajide Sawunlu was represented by the Commissioner for Finance, Rabiu Oluwu. He acknowledged the significant reforms that the JTB has implemented or spearheaded, especially in recent years. Lagos is by far the largest contributor to national non-oil revenues, corporate income taxes, VATs, custom duties, and others add to the coffers. Sawonlu lamented that subsequent redistribution of resources does not reflect the contribution of Lagos State. Our share in this redistribution fails to take into account the demographic, infrastructural burdens, and pressures that company being the economic nerve center of the nation and also a former federal capital territory. He disclosed that Lagos has grown its IGR with an astounding increase of 7,400%. It all began with ensuring the foundational autonomy of internal revenue service is implemented whereby Lagos State Revenue Administration Law 2006 helped achieve this. Executive Chairman Lagos Internal Revenue Service is Mr. Ayodele Subur. He opened up on efforts being made to improve on tax administration and ease of doing business in the state. Technology has also become a necessity for enhanced responsibility and accountability in the tax system. The cornerstone of development, really, is the payment of taxes. Payment of taxation is the most sustainable means of generating revenue. We all know that, you know, our indefatigable governor needs the funding for development. Application of technological solution to ease processes, procedures, and lifestyle in the 21st century can be seen as a natural consequence of the global development and we can only look forward to improving our ways of doing things. Hopefully, the deliberations from this forum will bring about practical solutions on critical revenue issues and fiscal federalism. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Uyeduku for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.